Eagle Eye Football here, Crystal Palace 2, Leon Neon Joy here with Rich. Thoughts on the game today? Apart from the first 10, 15 minutes, um, I think we controlled the game. Um, we lack a lot of width though. Oh, I mean, we, we keep the ball very well. Fair play to Roy, he's got the boys playing, very composed on the ball as such. But we're so one-sided when it comes to width, you know. Um, it's literally just Ayu, you know. And even Ayu, when he gets the ball, he likes to tuck inside as well. Uh, between Schlupp and Eze, they both were coming inside, which, to be fair, Kleine did bomb up the line a bit more, but then he has to then turn back on his right foot and come back inside and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with the performance, you know. Um, we've, ha we've just had Seville, we drew with, and we... <laughs> I think we dominated that game in large patches as well. And then to obviously dominate this game today, it leaves us in good stead. Obviously, the Premier League's a whole different animal. Um, still a little bit nervous, obviously, for next week. Um, but hopefully we can start off with a win. After watching these few games of pre-season and last season, has the Roy Ball dynamic evolved into a much more progressive and attacking style of football, do you think? Yeah, you can definitely tell. Um, Obviously, we said this many a time. I don't think Roy had the players to be expensive last time round. Um, as he ended last season, hey, we were free flowing and such. Don't get me wrong; there were there was still defensive naiveties within that. Um, but it seems like we've been working on that on preseason as well. And having Lerma in, and Lerma was brilliant today, by the way. That Lerma de Corey pivot, we shouldn't underestimate how good it is because it's just allowing us defensively to number one relax, number two allow. Our fullbacks, I put in quotation marks because <laughs> they're not really fullbacks, but they they are getting licensed to go forward as well. So, um, you know, it, it's looking good. I'm, I'm really, really excited as to what's to come, as long as we get some numbers through the door. And those numbers through the door, what are the key positions that you think? Because, in my personal opinion, fullbacks and a forward and keeper Lisa, I'd say top 10. Keeper Lisa is number one. If he ends up going next summer, we just hold our hands up and say, cool. Uh, I don't. We can't afford to let, allow like him and Wolf go in the same window. Um, definitely fullbacks. If we get Lewis Hall, that's an absolute great loan signing. Um, we need one more winger and a striker. In all honesty, um, if we get Somerville in, then we could do with Somerville at left or even um, Edward on the left until France is ready. Um, if we get Nonto and Somerville. I think we're set for the season. I think we're set for the season. If we get Nonto and Somerville, do you think then we could maybe let Elisa go this window as well? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Um, oh, well, oh, speak Elise, of the devil. Speak of the devil, Elise is walking by. Well, he was here, yeah. So, you know, oh. he's still there. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought Flamengo and Fogo were beefing. Clearly not. <laughs> um, but... Anyway, Rich, who was your man of match today? Lerma. He did give the ball away a bit, but what he did off the ball, like, I, I didn't realise how quick he was. He's bad. <laughs> I didn't realise how quick he was. But him off the ball, um, driving forward with the ball, just tidy with the ball as well most times, yeah. Lerma. One time we've passing. Got, yeah, we've got ourselves an absolute steal for free transfer. I understand. Rich, up the palace. Up the palace.